These are my very first Pisolotheria species. You can see them in there. Really fuzzy. Being unrolled, my hands in the way. Okay, now I can see this dark area where the little guy, little tarantula is, so I'm not gonna continue to. Okay, now you got a paper climber. Aha! <laughs> Not really, only, not really any of my tarantulas um, have caused me to have like a little bit of an adrenaline rush, except for the um, Pelinobius muticus. She was my first old world, and she was big, and the guys like she's mean, and you know I was worried. So I just felt a little bit of an adrenaline rush there doing this, but we got it. So this is the Pisolotheria vitata. This one is from Sri Lanka. Gonna grow up to be beautiful. I'm gonna create a label for this one so that I don't get anybody mixed up. I have my T. violaceus. Hard, it's hard to get this paper out. And sometimes they tend to just run around the edge mm. and up your arm. This one I can tell is already um, deciding to go to the other end. I know it's weird, you have to be careful because you're around them more often. I think you become more lax, yeah. Sometimes I think you're just hoping that they're not going to dart. Mm -hmm. And this towel's a little moist. <laughs> moist. <laughs> Your home is huge. Mm -hmm. You're little and your home is oh, huge. Cool. Now, I hope, I don't think this one can be housed in here. I think it's too small yeah. and skinny. Really? Mm-hmm. There's a couple holes that are not quite, uh, quite good for it, so. Oh, it could escape. Mm-hmm, so I'm gonna put it in a, a little deli cup instead. Do you want me to grab one? Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's kind of pensive right now, kind of deciding mm -hmm. if it's about to jump or... You're so little. Yeah, it's like one second you're there, one second you're not. I think it's like it's gotten used to its little home in that mm -hmm. paper right now, so it's yeah. a little afraid to see what the new environment is. Do you want it like just half the size? It's just holding on. Yeah, so for right now, the T. Violace is just going to leave them in here like this. A little tiny thing. Can't get out of those holes. And this one is the P. Subfusca. I like the hot popped out. That was so cute. <laughs> Hey, I'm your new friend. Well, I used to be about as arachnophobic as Nick, so. Isn't that amazing? Now you're just no big deal. Well, I still have that response, you know? Yeah. When these guys come out of here, they. You're like, oh, I'll stand back. <laughs>
<sighs> yes. Okay, I've got the little feet coming out, which means wanting to explore. I'm trying to see which direction we're facing. Okay. So we're facing that direction. And what I'd like to see is for, for him to come out. <laughs> what a cutie. Yeah. Can't see the face. You can tell I'm nervous because I keep messing around. <laughs> Very good. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Go off onto the tree. The other one, the one earlier, was a little more feisty than this. It's so cool to see that it come out and see the beauty of it. See, I'm nervous. I didn't... Okay, now that went so well. Right down into the crevice in the, in the cork bark. And this is the piece of Fusca Highland. And this one was calmer than the Vitata, but uh, I suppose that could vary according to each individual. So if it runs, I'm just gonna have to let it run up my arm. Okay. I'm so nervous, I'm not even thinking straight. Oh, great idea, <sighs> yeah. Jeez. Got a little P. Metallica in there. I think that's probably blurry, but be careful not to yank too hard. <laughs> Send everything flying. These are in there kind of snug. Okay, what I'm gonna do. Is send the poor little thing on a roller coaster ride. And I try so hard not to do this, and here I did it. I have a very limited range of motion, and I drop things with that hand, so mm. it's very. I bet that's frustrating for people to watch. You know, like, you know, when people watch something and they're like, why didn't they just grab onto yeah. it? Why are <laughs> they so clumsy? Well, Yes, in a way, I'm kind of being cautious and a little bit physically challenged. Oh my gosh! Come on, left hand, you can do this. You can. I, I know you can. You're beautiful. All right. Oh no! Don't do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang it. Cute little one. Yeah. What I want is for him to come off easy like the Alp. Oh, nice. Oh, we're ready to run. Nice. There he goes. Yeah, just go off that way. He's ready to run, you can see. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. That was nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably on the other side yeah, of this, he, are yep. you gonna run back up? Yeah. Okay. Go on the tree. Come on, go on the tree. Oh, 
Almost. There we go. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Nice. Now that worked out nice. That was good. Okay. So I cannot claim to not have been nervous. I have a witness. <laughs> My friend David's here. Hey. Got a C. fimbriatus. I'm sure it's harrowing for some people to watch me do this because of, oh God, how clumsy I am. I don't have a lot of control with my left hand. It's just, I really needed both of my hands. I'm not really a person who would do good with, with one hand. <laughs> Not to that anybody does, but because of some neurological things, I think I'm a little bit challenged. Okay, there we are. This one is gonna get a cute little container to go into. Okay, little one. Okay, I'm gonna try to do the brush with my left hand. Not as good at the fine-tuned stuff as the right one. Alright, we're in. That wasn't so bad. Um, you know, it's funny because uh, I was a little nervous about getting a C. fimbriatus and then I end up getting a P. metallica. <laughs> so yeah, that was a surprise and um, well, Everything went well, and I... Oh, I just wanted to show you, I think we're getting some uh, running in circles going on in there. So some of the little speeds coming out. I also want to say that uh, I came home and I thought, I'm missing something, and this is just ridiculous for me, but I guess this is how it happens when, you know, you don't have a whole lot of experience. I mean, I have some but not that much. Definitely cannot claim that I'm experienced at this. I'm happy about it, I'm comfortable, I'm, I'm excited and uh, I look, I am looking forward to gaining experience slowly over time. There really isn't any other way to do it than to be directly involved and of course do a lot of research but I just wanted to show you that there's this Tupperware container and I don't know why I had completely forgotten. So my first uh, two piece of Lotharias I rehoused without this Tupperware, which was rather daring. Um, and I feel, I don't know, a little slow for not realizing that I had it sitting nearby and available. Maybe I was just nervous. But anyway, um, it really makes a huge difference and I highly recommend that um, you, you do it this way. 